This here is the all new Wu Ask S01, the world's first 134 languages AI voice transcription recorder. This here features a 32 gigabyte storage measuring at about 2.4 inches and weighing about 17 grams. In addition, it features a 12 hour battery life that charges in a matter of one hour. Now, this can go ahead and transcribe both in real time, allowing you to go ahead and save your conversations on the go with a built-in cloud service. So you can have a one hour conversation and literally transcribe that in a matter of five minutes. Now, it features a high-tech 360 HD sound pickup with a dual ray microphone, and it can go ahead and transcribe up to 134 languages between 70 accents. Now, this thing is currently funding right now, so if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, taking a closer look at it, and giving it a test run to see exactly how it all functions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is the box. Very relatively small, uh, but it does showcase it quite well. So you do see the product here on the front, and then just kind of talks about it on the side in terms of the features. And yeah, it's just a little slide display, really nice. So a lot smaller than I was imagining. What? That is ridiculously small. Um, and then we have ourselves an instruction or a user manual here. Inside here, there is our USB. So you can go ahead and charge this by simply plug it in just like this and then plug it into the wall. All right, so first impressions overall is very lightweight at about 17 grams and measuring about 2.4 inches. Now, the unique thing about this is the way it works. You have a variety of different features in a compact size. So on the top here, you have a record button. So simply pressing this button here will go ahead and change between the different modes. Right now it's blue, meaning it's trying to connect via Bluetooth. And then you hit it again, it'll go ahead and turn green. This means it's currently recording my conversations at this moment. So everything that I'm saying is being stored in the 32 gigabyte built-in storage. Once I hit it again, I'll go ahead and save it directly onto the recorder as well as send it to my app as well. So I can technically listen to the conversation later, both via the app or the USB-C cable port on the bottom, which you can connect to headphones. Now on the side here, you do have a volume control button as well as the skip feature as well by basing up holding it longer or not. Now it has a clip on the back here, so you can technically go ahead and clip it onto your shirt, just like this, or you can clip it on a backpack as well. So it's very easy and convenient. Now, besides that, it's actually pretty simple to use and it actually has a nice appealing effect as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and boot up the app next and try it out. Uh, so I have my app loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on first by pressing this button once just like that. And now it's blinking blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the AI Recorder app and connect to my device via Bluetooth. Now that we're connected, uh, you can see all the previous conversations that we've had staved into the phone itself, but there's a variety of other features. So if I hit recorder, this will go ahead and pull up our menu between a simultaneous interpretation or a normal recording. So if I hit simultaneous interpretation, you can go ahead and choose your languages for input and output on the top. So you have English, and then based on what else you want, uh, you have Hindi, Japanese, Thai, Turkish, French, Italian, etc., with a variety of different dialects. So for now, we'll just click on English and we'll go ahead and transcribe that into Chinese. So once we click the button on the top here, it'll automatically start recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the top button right now. Hello, how are you doing today? And if I press the top button again, it'll go ahead and save that conversation. Now, as you notice, as we were talking there for that brief moment, it was automatically translating it on the bottom. So if I click on this here, you can actually see the exact conversation. Now, the top part of that is if you hit play. Hello, how are you doing today? So you can see that it actually recorded the conversation so you can listen to it later. Now you can even go ahead and store this onto the cloud by clicking the button that says save to my cloud space. So you can actually listen to it on the computer. Now, the interesting thing about this is that you can share it. Uh, so you can share it to a local audio. You can share it as a text or word file. And then you can even go ahead and retranslate it by clicking this button over here. Uh, you can edit and then you hit transcribe on the bottom and you can pick the different language that you want to translate it to. If I put the phone to the side and just hit the top button here, this will automatically turn green. Now it's recording my conversation. So I can technically record this conversation and listen to it later as a typical 
voice recorder. If I press the button again, it'll save it directly onto the app as well. So if it confirm, I can go ahead and scroll up, click on the conversation, hit play. Now it's recording my conversation. So I can technically record this conversation. So it'll automatically save that onto the phone, which is really nice. So it actually makes it very convenient to use and very simple and easy. Now, besides that, if we go back into recorder mode, uh, we can change the language and we can write like Hindi and we'll transcribe that into English. Okay. And then I'll hit this button here again. Aap kaise hain? So it translated saying, how are you doing? That's exactly what I just said. So I pull on the bottom here. Aap kaise hain? You'll see that on the bottom says, how are you doing? So that is actually pretty spot on. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what it's about. It's actually very simple to use and very convenient and makes a great tool. So you don't even need to use the phone. So you can always use it independently as a standalone recorder or as a standalone translator in the future. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.